It took years for Ian Burkhart to play a game of Guitar Hero again. The biggest dream would be to get full function of my hand back, both my hands, you know, because then that allows you to be a lot more independent. He's the first paralyzed patient to move his hand using his own thoughts. When we first hooked everything up, you know, for the first time of being able to move my hand, it was a big shock because, you know, it's something that I haven't, hadn't moved in about three and a half years at that point. In 2010, Ian was paralyzed from the neck down in a diving accident. A team of doctors in Ohio have been working with Ian as part of a clinical trial to test neural bypass technology. What our device does is it takes data directly from the brain and it decodes that and takes those signals and uses them to stimulate Ian's own forearm to cause his muscles to contract and move in the way that he wants them to. Ian had a computer chip implanted in his brain that connects to wires from his head to a sleeve, which creates the neural bypass. Our goal is to use this technology so that these patients, like Ian, can be more in charge of their lives and can be more independent. So far, it's allowed Ian to regain the use of his hand, from playing video games to pouring objects. Now, we have by no means, you know, cured paralysis, but this is a proof of concept to show that you, you can do this and proof that some normalcy has returned for Ian, who relies on others for even the simplest tasks. Now that we've been able to really see that it's something that can work, I know that in the future it'll really be able to help. Transforming technology to restore body movement by using the brain. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Lee Sheps.